Welcome back to Ringworm, everybody. Or uh, if you're new to the channel, welcome anyway. Uh, I moved out here in the, to the woods in Michigan uh, over a year ago with a tent and a couple tools and a couple chainsaws and a chainsaw mill just to see how long it would be fun. And are you kidding me? <laughs> it's a blast. But after about a year out here, I decided I need to build something. I, I spent almost all my time just building stuff for the fun of building ridiculous things. But I decided I needed a real structure that was completely screened in with a real roof. So on the hottest days of summer, I have a place to escape to when it's too hot to work, too hot to do anything out here. I can come sitting here out of the bugs, out of the sun, out of the heat and uh, edit videos or read a book or send emails or whatever I need to do with my one bar of cell service. So all this I've made in the last, uh, I guess it's been a couple months. Uh, platform, well, the platform I made uh, last year and the rest of this is made from cedar, pine, and aspen trees all on the property, all with a chainsaw mill. I made all the lumber. And we're getting close. We're getting real close to getting this thing done. Now I gotta figure out the, how to put the screen on here. The corners are these really bowed cedars that I put there just because I thought it would look kind of funny. And the side supports I put in as kind of an afterthought. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to straighten those up. I haven't even plumbed them yet. And then, I think I'm going to have to take the chainsaw and rip a flat side on these in order to have a flat side to attach the screen to. Just got some new headphones that I can wear underneath my uh, helmet, my earmuffs on my helmet, which is really nice. So, I, as you guys noticed from all the videos, I love listening to podcasts and books on tape and stuff. Right now, I'm working through some Jules Verne. Never read uh, any of his books, so as soon as my brain wakes up just a little bit more, I'm going to get started on that again. So fun. So fun to listen to a good book while you're doing this stuff outside, screwing around in the woods. How could you beat it? Just trying to think of uh, how to cut this off perfectly flat on this side. It would be nice to have milled it. However, I can't pull it out now because it supports the roof. So I'm going with the plumb bob. Hang a plumb bob right there. And tied it off tight to this board. And then I'm kind of lining, as you can see, like get this lined up with this up here. About like so. Sight down the... Uh, plumb line and mark it with the marker it's hard to do looking through the camera but I'll show you in a second <laughs> it's not helping with a little bit of breeze moving it around looks a little messy from this angle but if you get it just in line the marker line should disappear so I marked it on both sides and I'll see, uh, mark them all four and then see if I can make that cut, how nice I can make that cut with the chainsaw. If it's uh, a little off, except for the very top and bottom, I'll maybe throw the planer on it and knock it down just so that screen will lie flat on there. Nine feet, ten, fourteen feet times two. All right, I think I'm going to make all these boards along the floor out of cedar just because they're going to be the most likely to get the most wet the most times when it blows and rains in here. It's going to be the strip on the bottom that holds the screen down. I think I've got a little bit of cedar up top where I mill. It'll work. I got one board here that was left over from something. All right, we'll figure something out. Well, 
This is a cedar log, what's left over of it from making that fascia board in the last uh, video. That's why I generally will leave it if I don't know exactly what thickness I'm going to need for or use the rest of this for. I didn't generally just let it sit here and now instead of I would have milled it up into one inch boards because that's the most common one that I use but I need one and a half now so I'm glad I just let it sit. Saves me having to cut down another tree and limit and drag it and all that stuff so we'll finish this one up and then I think I got some short logs over there that we could probably mill small boards out of. Make uh, one and a half inch boards for no particular reason. It just, you know, spiritually feels like the right width. You know what I mean? I don't. little bit little bad stuff in the core of that one but I don't need the whole board anyway so shan't matter Captain Nemo in my ears. Probably should have peeled this, but uh, I didn't. There you have it. Oh, it's actually really dirty. Darn. I'm gonna peel it. Take it easy. I wasn't going to peel it, it's just such a small log, but it really does go through the chain so much faster, especially after you drag them through the dirt. Can you hear me? I I can't hear you guys. Then again, you're just sitting there staring like a bunch of weirdos. These new headphones really like plug up your ear holes so you can't uh, hear anything. Is that better? Fine. Two, four, six, eight. Two, four, six. That should do it. Actually, I think before I rip these down the middle and cut them to length, I'm gonna see if I can't cut the side of these posts off. That's gonna be a trick. It's gonna be a challenge to make this cut, so I think I'm gonna have to cut it twice since I can't see both sides at once. I think I'm gonna have to cut it like this on this line, cut it a little bit out, and then go to the other side, which the bar will probably come out over here and then make another cut 
and do it out again and then maybe it'll have kind of like a V in the middle I can just plane off or trim off with the saw. It's gonna be a trick. Oh, I'm getting so excited to put the screen on. I uh, forgot I gotta make a door here, and I guess the only place it can go is right here, so maybe I'll run up and mill some more of those junk logs into uh, one buys and see if I can create some kind of screen door. I have to get the chains out and trim that flat somehow. Okay, let's not think. I'm just gonna save all these poles to build something, I don't know, something log cabiny with like vertical poles, but. I got a big uh, tree cutting project I want to do is like double or triple the size of my shooting range. So I'm going to have more poles than I know what to do with. So I usually like to mill these tiny logs because it's all that set up, dragging them around everything. And then you just get two boards out of them. But just to make a door shouldn't be an issue. Might as well use them up. They're already laying here. There we go, just drug them all down here, kind of laying them out to see. Uh, I normally don't like to make these all the same, like rip them all down to the same size. I feel like it wastes a lot of lumber. <laughs> but uh, in this case, I don't want to spend two days making this door out of uh, odd size stuff. So looks like I'm going to rip each one, all of them down to about four inches. So make the door out of one by fours.
it was like a half a day's work just to make these boards. But then again, uh, one by four rough hewn cedar probably isn't, probably is not cheap. And like I guess I'd rather spend my day doing this than uh, going to work to buy them, right? Seventy-six by thirty-two, maybe. Why not? like that. Maybe uh, frame it up like that. Make more sense to put this up against here, wouldn't it? Use that for the frame.
Is this how you do this? Yeah? Okay, good. Grab these from my bin of uh, used hinges. I've got about 40 or 50 of them left. Did a remodeling project and just hold on to all this stuff because why not? This place is not going to be any better or worse if I have brand new hinges, so let's do it for free. It's a door that doors. Hop diggy to dam. That'll do. Last time I could do that. All right, back to these boards. We uh, chainsaw milled up. Drop the plumb bob from here, down here, and on the other side, and then snap a line in between it, and then make some uh, nailers. Rip these with the chainsaw and screw them or nail them down in between each one of these. I have to chisel that one out a little bit. Yeah. Oh. <clears throat> I mean, that looks nice. 
It's all of a sudden feeling pretty roomy in here. Now, wouldn't it be kind of cool if that was all glass? No, it wouldn't. I mean, it'd be nice to have some AC in here, but come on, I don't know that we could call that camping anymore. All right, let's see. Always start something like this on um, the part of the building that's not going to get seen. <laughs> Make all the mistakes up up front. So I guess we'll uh, I guess we'll go for the backside here. I'm actually, actually surprised since this is not 2D, this is like 3D because these aren't on the same plane as the rest of it. I'm surprised it's coming out this well. It's like not a single wrinkle or sag or anything. That is pretty rad. I'm uh, learning about crickets right now in my ear holes, so that's making the uh, stapling more interesting. I mean, it's pretty good stapling anyway, but that's of course ologies again. Great podcast. I think it's my new favorite. Thanks to my girlfriend who turned me on to it. Ologies with uh, Allie Ward, I think it is. Call me. Call me Allie. Okay, that was, that was reasonably creepy. I'll remember to edit that out. How nice is that? That is stellar. I don't know if you can tell how... Nice and tight that is too. I'm pretty proud of my work, you know. Probably have to come back and get something to trim all this, but I'm not gonna worry about it right now. Before I close in this other side, I'm going to have to think if there's anything enormous I want to move in here, like a <clears throat> big screen TV or small rhinoceros or anything. Once it's closed in, that's it. Maybe a pool table. God, that would, that would actually really be fun. <laughs> Except that this thing isn't level.
keep freaking out, not sure if there's a screen in which panel yet. Then I'm gonna walk through one of them. Decided to skip the pool table. I was thinking maybe a hot tub, but I just don't have it here right now, and I really want to staple this on to be done with this. I can always cut a hole. So nice working with new screen like this. I used to many many years ago had a window cleaning business. It was the first business I ever had. Oh, already out. I did some uh, rescreening. You know, when screens get uh, really white and shiny, maybe everybody knows this, but standard window screens are fiberglass uh, screen, and then it's dipped and uh, or treated with rubber on the outside. And once the UV, it's uh, been in the sunlight for long enough, the UVs eat all the rubber off. So all you have left is that uh, fiberglass weave which is white reflects all the light and then it makes it really hard to see through so i i love new screen like this is so fun like the light transmission is so good and you really can see through them quite well not like an old screen where you <laughs> you have to put your face right up to it just to see what's outside Well, I'm glad I left these till the end because they're going to be a lot harder to do. There's no long flat stretch on the top to hang the screen and then stretch it down gently and easily until it's all tight. So, huh. better than I thought it was going to be. Might have got a little bit too tight. Man, I wonder how long it's going to take before I fall through this or drop something or lean something against it and rip it all out. Oh well.
Definitely going to need some wood strips all the way around this, but you know, it's not really going to need them until maybe winter. I think for now the wind and rain's not really going to affect this, but my guess is that this winter we get enough wind and snow going sideways. I bet a lot of it's going to stick to this down, especially down low, and it won't take too much to rip those staples out. So sometime before the winter, I'll have to get a uh, chainsaw mill up a few boards and then rip them into a little like maybe one by two strips and go all the way around all these seams and tack them on there that'll help the screen be a little bit a little bit tougher for the winter i'm about as far from a hoarder as you can get <clears throat> but i do hold on to hardware <laughs> and uh some hand tools and i've had this in my stash for maybe 15 years and now i have a use for it i don't even know what it's called turnbuckle or Something like that, just to keep the screen from sagging. Feels so good to use this stuff after holding on to it for that long. I'm trying to think of the physics of these things. I think I've only really seen them maybe in the middle of the door at the top, but I'd like to not spoil the view. Not that a little wire is going to make that big a difference, but also it's just there to lift the side of the door that's not hinged. So it also seems like it would work just as well if you put it like that. Hmm. Well, I'm going to try the bottom of the door. Why not? Any reason that wouldn't work as well as putting it at the top? Wow, that works really well. Just lift it up that side of the door. Cool. That there is a usable gazebo with no handle to get in. <laughs> I have a solution for that. Yes! <laughs> oh, it's not done. Well, hmm. These all need to be trimmed too, or screened. Maybe I'll get to that today, maybe I won't. Well, this definitely needs a handle on here because you got to have fingernails to get in there. And I just have a couple choices. Hmm. Let's see. <laughs> I was really into the 1910 slash uh, 26D, but then I was thinking maybe the 5301-G10 would be nice for the door. Gosh, I just don't know. My buddy Tito found this in a dumpster. He thought of me. He thought I'd like it. So <laughs> I was going to actually mount the whole thing on there, but I've went to such lengths to uh, keep the keep the the view pure as the driven snow. I don't think I'm going to put the whole board on there. So I was going to choose one of those. Unfortunately, I think the one that really really spoke to me was the uh, 53011 G10, and that's the one that's missing. So. I saved this off my uh, niece's and nephew's playhouse when I disassembled it a couple years ago with my brother and we built it into a, uh, a deer blind. I thought that was a nice handle. It feels really good in the hand, so I held on to it. I think that'd be perfect. I mean, unless any of you know where to get a 53011-G10. Yep, I'll just go with that. Yep, it's a playhouse. Ah, that is nice. Gosh, that's really nice. I could just do this for quite a while. All right, that's enough.
Looks pretty good. I was thinking about just uh, doing chunks of wood in there, but I think this is better. I think the last thing I'm going to do right now is fill these gaps in. I think that's the last spot that the bugs can get in. tool for the job. been in here in quite some time no animals it actually smells really good in here I don't know it's not just the cedar I don't know what it is well that's all we need consider this truly as a place to sit and play guitar. Didn't even cross my mind until just this morning. Definitely gonna need some stairs here. Got those couple giant aspens that came down a week or two ago and uh, a light storm for whatever reason. I think I'll mill those up, probably make stairs out of them. That's that's the one thing that that aspen is good for is stuff to walk on. <laughs> Not much in the way of furniture, huh? I don't know if I'll get to that this fall or maybe in the spring start making some furniture for in here. Got a couple other big projects to do before uh, winter winter hits. Yeah, check out this. Is there a better place in the world to sit and play guitar? It's amazing. So I thought I'd spend the day here uh, playing guitar and uh, working on some videos. Brought my uh, brought my car battery down here and inverter and computer and everything. And then I start hearing this noise out in the out in the distance. And it, there's a rumble, and it just got black. I looked at the radar, and we're about to get hammered. So I was thinking uh, I could hurry and put everything up in my tent and maybe take a nap or something while. It, while it blows over but I thought no this would be more fun I hope that if I keep everything right in the middle of this thing that it won't all get wet maybe I should run out to go grab that tarp off the lumber there in case I need it for my computer and stuff this is gonna be fun
either this or sit in the tent. I don't know which one's better. I guess the tent that would have been dry, but it's like 80 degrees right now. So it actually feels quite nice. I think it's only gonna go on for maybe a half an hour or something. Whoa. I went ahead and parked all my stuff up because it was blowing in all the way to the middle. <laughs> my guitar and computer and a bunch of other electronic stuff, some Ryobi tools and whatnot are underneath there. <laughs> Frankly, this is kind of fun. <laughs> and hey, if this thing holds up and doesn't leak, this is a great test. I just finished this like yesterday or the day before. So we'll see if, uh, if it doesn't fall down on me or uh, sprout a bunch of leaks. I think it'll pass the test. Check out this view though. What a place to sit in a rainstorm. How amazing is that? Florida ceiling 360 forest. Nothing but woods. My feet are wet, but uh, my head's not. Probably partially because of the umbrella. <laughs> Ten fifteen 15 minutes, that's it. Seems like it's already blown over. Just one giant cell. Anyway, as always, thank you guys for watching. Uh, come back next week. I think probably be chainsaw mowing up some more Aspen for those stairs. Perhaps I got one big cedar log that I've been holding on to for, gosh, the better part of a year. Just because it's so big, I don't generally get cedar quite that size. I want to make a table out of, so who knows? We'll see. Every like always things just go day to day out here i don't have a plan for anything and just wake up each day and decide on the spot what the most fun thing is to do so subscribe if you want come back next week i'll be here just gonna play a little guitar to finish up this video but i think this is entertainment enough right here making it awfully hard to nap